7 things you need to know about F535 Big IP Administrator or F5CA. The information that I will provide may help you decide whether you want to take the certification or not. Or maybe it will also help you in your exam preparation. So, let's begin. First, F5CA consists of two exams. The first one is F5101 Application Delivery Fundamentals Exam. And the other is F5201 TMOS Administration. If you pass F5101 exam, which is considered entry level, you will not get any certification just an eligibility to take F5201 exam. Both exams cost 180 US dollars. So in summary, F5CA costs 360 USD. Next, F5CA, this certification is an associate slash junior level. And once you obtain the certification, you are now eligible to take for specialization. This is called F5CTS. F5CTS stands for F5 Certified Technology Specialist. And the four tracks are LTM, DNS, ASM, and APM. Unfortunately, in F5 Certification Program, all exams except for F5 101, they all have prerequisites. The F5 CTS that I mentioned, as well as F5 CSE, F5 CSE stands for F5 Certified Solution Expert, which is the expert level. Unfortunately, you cannot take them directly. Next, it's not easy. Yes, getting an F5CA is not easy at all. First, there are no exam dumps. For F5101 exam alone, it can be considered as one of the, if not the most difficult entry level exams out there. And for F5201, you need to do more hands-on lab exercises, as many questions are related to configuration, monitoring slash maintenance, and statistics. What else? It's not easy because there are not too many resources available on the internet. But there is one best resource that will help you pass both exams. So check this out. Open a web browser and type www.zurian.com. This will take you to the Zurian website, click training, and this will redirect you to the training webpage. Here you will see various courses. You can filter F5 courses, and now only F5 related courses are displayed, such as F5 101 exam preparation, F5 201 exam preparation, and building F5 Big IP Lab for free. F5 CA or F5 Certified Big IP Administrator is more of a network certification. Yes, they talk about various technologies such as applications, security, Linux, and cloud related services, but it covers more network concepts. I consider these as best complement to your CCNA if we are talking about just associate level network certification. Next. Just like any other vendor-specific certifications, one of the advantages of getting this certification F5CA is aside from promotions, better resume, upgrading your technical skills, is the F5 partnership. If you are planning to work with SI or System Integrator slash Value Added Resellers or VAR or IT Distributor as well, getting the certification is a huge point and F5 networks themselves actually prefers hiring engineers who are already F5 certified, just like any other vendors. Next, both F5 101 and 201 exams covers more basic of networking and application delivery controller platforms. It also introduces solutions such as WAF or Web Application Firewall, DNS slash Global Load Balancing, CDN, server slash Linux, this will all provide you fundamental concepts of cloud technologies. Last, this is all about F5 101 and 201 exam itself. You have to create F5 candidate ID first, then you book the exam in Pearson VUE, and you can't take it online slash remote. You can only book F5 exams in selected, not all, Pearson VUE Testing Center. The exam format is multiple choice, single answer. 
and rarely you'll get multiple choice, multiple answers as well. Total of 80 scenario based questions and you only have 90 minutes for native English speaking countries and two hours for non-native English speaking countries. I obtained this certification thrice already, you know, because it always expires. Unfortunately, all F5 certifications only valid for a couple of years. Most vendor certifications are three years validity. Okay, during the exam, you can go back to the previous questions and you can also flag those questions so you can review those difficult questions before submitting the exam. And once you submit it, you will get preliminary pass or fail results right away. But you need to wait for the exam results summary as well as the certification status within 48 hours. So are you gonna take the exam soon?